Firstly, firstly, can I acknowledge the traditional owners of this land in which we stand on? I say that quite purposefully because we need to acknowledge and understand the meaning of respecting elders past, present and emerging. The reason why we need to know and understand that is because the culture that we have here behind us and all around us in this wonderful place called Australia has been handed down generation after generation after generation for over 60,000 years, over 60,000 years. It wasn't written down, it was passed down verbally. It was passed down through dance, through art, through culture. And just because it wasn't written in a book doesn't make it any less significant than the culture that we, most of us, uh, have come to know. And I'm glad, very, very happy to be at this point in time, this point in the world's time, where we start to acknowledge Indigenous communities right around the world and the significance of that culture. Um, I have to tell all of you that uh, from 40 k's out from this point yesterday when I first got my glimpse of Uluru, uh, it looked like a, it, it looked almost a purplish colour from the distance. It brought a tear to my eye and uh, a realisation that this journey was finally coming to an end. It helped me to reflect at that point in time uh, and for that reason, I, I wish to thank God for giving me the gift, the gifts that I have to be able to do this role that you've seen before you today. And that is these unique gifts of understanding the workings of parliament and, and politics, not just here in Australia, but worldwide. The gifts of being able to put one foot in front of the other further and perhaps faster over those longer distances than almost any other person on earth but the gifts of bringing those two things together and using those as an inspiration to others and as a thread to weave together this, as I said in, uh, as I said in Tasmania, this rich tapestry that we know as Australia. All the states, all the territories coming together, all the communities, all the people in those communities coming together to the footsteps that I've, I've been able to lay out. I want to say to all of you this, that this, this monument behind me, this monolith behind me, uh, has been a magnet to my soul. It has been a magnet to this piece of steel that stands in front of you. A and I've been drawn closer and closer to it and I can't help but feel some sort of spiritual sense of the place that we stand on at this point in time and I know that there's an absolute connection between this place, between Uluru, between this earth that we stand on and between the people that inhabit it. And it's something that we all need to embrace and learn from and experience as well. And experience as well. And that's why I want to invite all Australians, all Australians, to know and to understand and to learn the Indigenous culture that is Australia. That is Australia, a very rich, a very proud culture. An understanding of our flora and our fauna and why it works the way it does and why it withstands these incredible conditions that I've had to endure as well. Driving wind, driving rain, snow, hail, you name it, dust storms. Uh, the earth gets underneath your skin and inside your lungs and becomes part of you and you become part of it. And now, finally, I understand what our Indigenous people have been trying to say to us for such a long p piece of time that they are connected to this earth and we need to love and respect this, this country, Australia. Uh, and I think if all Australians see it the way that I've seen it, then you'll understand the significance of this place and this, this country that we call home. I, uh, I also want to mention something that was passed on to me by a wonderful Indigenous leader uh, down in Adelaide when she said to me that the Australian people have for a long time exercised sympathy towards our Indigenous people. Sympathy towards our Indigenous people. And she said to me, Pat, we don't want sympathy. What we want, what we need is empathy. Empathy. Because empathy, the difference between those two is when somebody walks in your shoes, 
when somebody understands what it's like to live without and understands the need to close the gap. And that's what we have the opportunity to do on Saturday. All we have to do is vote yes. All we have to do is vote yes and we can change history in this country for the better, for future generations, for our children and for all children of this nation. That's most significant. That is most significant. I also want all of you and through the media that's here to get the message out to every single Australian, please reflect on our coat of arms. There is a very, very good reason why this country uniquely has an emu and uniquely has a kangaroo. And when you start to understand the meaning of this country, you understand that we do not walk backwards. We do not... We do not take a backward step. We only ever move forwards. And so on Saturday, we have an opportunity to learn from the mistakes of the past, to correct those mistakes and to move forward together as one, to move forward together as one. So learn from our coat of arms. Embrace it, understand it, live it, breathe it with every nerve and sinew in your body, in everything that you choose to do with your life. As it was mentioned earlier on, not everybody needs to be a runner. Not everybody needs to be a politician. Not everybody even needs to be a leader. But they need to be true to themselves and they need to continuously move forward. So I want to encourage all of you to vote yes and to do that. Thank you.